guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet uh, my super easy crochet slouchy beanie. It's a really cute classic um, hat that you, I mean, realistically, you everyone needs this in their cold weather wardrobe. Um, so the yarn I'm using today is Impeccable by Loops and Threads, but I've also used Red Heart Soft Yarn, and um, so they both work really well for this pattern, but I mean, you could really use whatever yarn that you like. You just want to be careful to make sure if you're using a yarn that's different than the two that I've just mentioned, then with the band part of the pattern, when you're working on the band, you want to make sure that you are going to be measuring it. That's really the only part that matters is because it's the part that goes around your head, so you want the sizing to be um, accurate and uh, you can find a link to the size chart that I use in the description below um, and that is where if you do it for two inches smaller than the size of the uh, the circumference um, of the head that you need so then you should be fine but if you're going to be using one of these yarns that I just mentioned Red Heart Soft or uh, Impeccable by Loops and Threads then you could just follow the stitch count the size for this is a one size fits most teen adult sizing and um, you're going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and if you have a hard time keeping track of your rows when you're working in the round a stitch marker is definitely helpful to use as well. I swear by stitch markers. I, I really these are become my favorite thing. I used to love living dangerously and not need stitch markers but you know what? It just makes life so much easier. So I do recommend using a stitch marker. Um, and there are links in the description below if you need any of these materials and they can be shipped right to your door. So go ahead and have a look at that. If there's anything missing in these materials that you need, um, there are links below as well as if you would prefer to use the written pattern or if you want to have the written pattern to follow along with the video, there is a link for the written pattern as well in the description below. Okay, let's get started on our pattern. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So you're gonna have to start by making your starting loop and you can just wrap the yarn around your finger and cross it over like this. Pick up that little bottom bit and push a small amount of the top piece through, just not fully through. And it'll form that, form that little starting loop that you can go ahead and uh, get that on your hook. Okay, so we're gonna chain five. So yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Just go ahead and do that five times. One, two, three, four, one more time. Now we're gonna attach our last chain to our very first chain to create a ring. And we're gonna do it with a slip stitch. So you're gonna push your hook in that chain there, yarn over and just pull that loop right through the two loops that are on your hook, okay? We're gonna chain two. And it's important to note that this chain two space is never going to count. Um, sorry, it's never going to count as your as a, a stitch in this pattern. OK, in fact, when we go around and we're closing our rounds, we're going to be closing them in the top of that chain two space. So this is a pretty good spot to go ahead and put your stitch marker so that you can keep track of where your rounds start and end. Um, and where you need to close them in the top of that chain two space. It can get a little bit tricky and that just takes some of the stress away from it. Okay, so working into the middle of your ring, we're gonna do 10 double crochets. So you're gonna yarn over your hook, push it right into the middle of that ring, yarn over and pull up a loop. So now you've got three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through the first two Yarn over and pull through the next two loops. All right, I'll do one more with you guys. Yarn over, go in the middle of the ring. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Three loops are on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over and pull through the last two. So go ahead and do that eight more times and then come back. Okay, so now that you've gone and done that 10 times and we're back at the beginning, here's your little uh, stitch marker if you put one and it's indicating where you, the top of that chain two space was, that's where we're gonna close our round with a slip stitch. Okay, and then you're just gonna go ahead and chain two again. So you can either move that stitch marker up and put it in the top of the next chain two, or you can just use it as a guide and know that it's lined up here. 
Okay, so now we're going to be increasing um, our rounds for the next few rounds, okay? So we're gonna do two double crochets, but we're working into the stitches now. So you're gonna yarn over your hook and push your hook right through the stitch. And you wanna be careful to make sure that you've gone through the entire stitch there. You see how it's sort of like a V shape? Make sure that you've pushed your hook right through the whole stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop, okay? You've now got three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through the first two, yarn over and pull through the next two. And you're gonna do that again in the very same stitch that you just worked in. All right, so now you're gonna go ahead and do that in every single stitch all the way around. You're just gonna work two double crochets in every single stitch all the way around. Okay, and by the time that you get to the end of this round, you're gonna close with a slip stitch in the top of that chain two space, and you should have a total of 20 stitches by the time you finish this round. So go ahead and finish working two double crochets in every single stitch all the way around. Close with a slip stitch in the top of that chain two space and then come back. Okay, so now that you've finished that round and you closed with a slip stitch in the top of your chain two space, you're gonna chain two to start your next round. So every round you're gonna close with a slip stitch and, and then to start a new round, you're gonna chain two to start your next one, okay? So now what we're gonna do, I'm just having a look at where we are here. Okay, so now we're gonna double crochet, sorry about that, I was reading my written pattern as I go here. So you're gonna double crochet two times in the first stitch. Okay, so that's twice in that very same stitch there. And you're gonna double crochet once in the following. two in the next, and one in the following, okay? And you're just gonna go ahead and continue all the way around doing two, one, two, one. By the time you get to the end of this round, you should have 30 stitches, and of course you're gonna close with a slip stitch, chain two, and then come back, okay? So now that you finish that round, you should have 30 stitches all the way around. You'll have closed with a slip stitch and chain two. So now for this next round, we're gonna double crochet two times in the first stitch. So that's one and two. And then we're gonna double crochet once in each of the following two stitches, okay? So we've just worked in three stitches. We did two double crochets in the first, one in the following two. And now you're gonna do two, one, one, two, all the way around. You're gonna close with a slip stitch and chain two. And by the end of that round, you should have 40 stitches. So go ahead and do that and then come on back. Okay, so now that you finished that round, as I mentioned, you should have 40 stitches by now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work two double crochet in the first stitch. And we're gonna work one double crochet in each of the following three stitches. Okay, and you're gonna go ahead and continue on following that alternating pattern all the way around. You're gonna close with a slip stitch and chain two. And by the end of this round, you should have 50 stitches. Okay, so you go ahead and work that round and then come back. Okay, so now that you've finished that round, you're gonna work two double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the following four. Two, one, 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 two. And you're gonna continue that all the way around, close with a slip stitch and chain two. And by the end of this round, you should have a total of 60 stitches. So go ahead and do that and then come on back. Okay, so now that you've finished that round, you are gonna work two double crochet in the first stitch one double crochet in the following five stitches. And you're gonna continue that alternating all the way around, close with a slip stitch and chain two. And by the end of this round, you should have a total of 70 stitches. So go ahead and work that round and then come back. Okay, so now that you've finished that round, you've closed with a slip stitch and chain two. 
So now you're gonna work two double crochet in the first stitch, one in the following six stitches, two in the next, one in the following six. You're gonna repeat that all the way around. You're gonna close with a slip stitch, chain two. And by the end of that round, this round that you're doing now, you're about to start, you should have 80 stitches. Um, and don't worry, we're gonna be, uh, we're going to be moving on soon. <laughs> it's not going to be too many more increasing rounds. Okay, so go ahead and do that and then come on back. Okay, so now that you've finished that round and you've closed with a slip stitch and you chain two, grab your stitch marker to mark this next round because going forward after this next step, you're going to need to be able to count your rounds easily. So it'll be really helpful to you if you've got a stitch marker here. So for this next round, you're just gonna work one double crochet in every single stitch all the way around. Just every single stitch all the way around is gonna be one half double crochet, or sorry, one double crochet, okay? And of course, as you end the round, you're gonna close with a slip stitch and you're gonna chain two. Now, if you are working on a child size, you're going to continue on working one double crochet in every single stitch all the way around. You're gonna continue doing that for a total of eight rounds. If you're working on an adult size, you're going to continue with your one double crochet in every stitch all the way around, you're going to do that for a total of 14 rounds. Now, being a slouchy hat, this step where we're making a certain amount of rounds, this is just gonna determine how slouchy our hat is, okay? So you don't have to do the eight or the 14. You could do as many as you want, um, just depending on the look that you're hoping to accomplish. And um, so go ahead and do however many rounds that you want to. When you come back, we're gonna be just working on the band and it's just a few rows of, of, of band that's gonna be going around your head. So literally this step where you're working one double crochet in every stitch around, for the amount of rounds you do is what's gonna determine how slouchy your hat is, okay? So if you wanna follow my pattern exactly, then do eight for a child size, 14 for an adult, if you feel that you just want a different, a little bit of a different look, then just adjust this step of the pattern to however many rounds that you wanna do. Okay, so go ahead and do that and then come back. Okay guys, so now that you've finished all those rounds, go ahead and move your stitch marker up. And now for this next round, we're gonna work one half double crochet in every single stitch all the way around. So to do a half double crochet, you're just gonna yarn over, push your hook through your stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now you've got three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull right through all three loops. Okay, so I'll do that again with you. You're gonna yarn over, push your hook in the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. So that's how you do a half double crochet. So for this round, you're just gonna go ahead and work one half double crochet in every stitch all the way around. You're gonna close with a slip stitch and chain one and then come back. Okay, so now that you've closed with a slip stitch and chain one, we're gonna begin our decrease rounds. Okay, so if you're working on a child or an adult size small or medium, you are going to do a sing one single crochet. Let me show you how to do it. So for a single crochet, you're gonna push your hook in the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got two loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through both, okay? So if you're working on a child size or an adult small or medium, you're gonna do your one single crochet in the first five stitches. One, two, three, four, I need to do one more. Okay, so you're gonna work one single crochet in the first five stitches. If you're working on an adult large or extra large, you're gonna do one single crochet in the first 10 stitches, okay? So go ahead and do that. Push pause right now until you do those stitches that you need to do, and then you move on to this next step, okay? So once you've done either your five single crochet or 10, depending on the size that you're working on, so once you've done either your five single crochets or 10, 
you are going to do a single crochet decrease. So what that means is exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna decrease this round by a stitch. So we're gonna take these two stitches and turn them into one. So you're gonna take your hook and push it into that first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, hold that in place and go ahead and push your hook in that very next stitch. So we just worked into this one. We're gonna now push our hook in the very next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So you can see that we're working in two stitches here and you've got three loops on your hook. You're just gonna yarn over and pull through all of them, okay? So we've taken these two stitches and we've turned it into that one. Now you're gonna go ahead and just continue around. So if you are working on a kids um, or adult, small or medium, you're gonna do your five single crochets. If you're doing an adult large or extra large, you're gonna do your 10 single crochets. And then you're gonna do another single crochet decrease. Okay, so go ahead and just keep on uh, continuing all the way around working your single crochets and your single crochet decreases. Um, close with a slip stitch, chain one, and then come back. Okay, so if you are working on um, a child or an adult size medium, you are gonna do, you're gonna start this next round with a single crochet decrease. And then you're gonna work one single crochet into the next seven stitches. Okay, and you're gonna do another decrease and then work your single crochet in the next seven stitches. Single crochet decrease, work a single crochet in the next seven stitches. You're gonna do that all the way around, close with a slip stitch and come back. If you are working on an adult size, large or extra large, you're just gonna do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around, no more decreases. Okay, um, close with a slip stitch and then come back. Okay, so for those of you that are working on an adult large or extra large, um, you are gonna fasten off right now. Okay, so just give me one second. Um, actually, no, I'll show you right now what I mean. So if you're working on an adult large or extra large, you'll have close with a slip stitch and don't chain at all. So if you've done a chain one, just pull that out like I just did and you're just gonna pull a little extra yarn up Go ahead and fasten that off. Just give it a cut with the scissors and you're just gonna use a yarn needle and hide that tail end in the stitches on the inside, okay? Um, just to secure it and, uh, and hide that end so you don't have a little piece poking out here. For those of you that are working on a child size or an adult smaller medium, you're gonna go ahead now and do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around and then you're going to close with a slip stitch Fasten off and hide your tail end on the stitches on the inside of the hat, okay? And that's it. You're done with your um, super easy crochet slouchy hat. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to click subscribe and have a look at the helpful links in the description below.